Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be looking at some new tech in the drone FPV world. But before we begin, I'll leave a link for this video in the description box down below. This content is not mine, but I will be critiquing it and giving my opinions on it. So if you want to go check out the full video, please have a look in the description box. International Drone Racing Circuit. This is DRL, the Drone Racing League. The drone Racing League is the number one drone racing property in the world. We take the very best okay, pilots, Nick. put on events around yes, the do. globe, and broadcast that to tens of millions of fans. We've teamed up with Drone Racing League to fuel 5G innovation in two fast-growing markets. Drones and tech-powered sports. T-Mobile is building okay. the largest, fastest, most reliable 5G network in the country. And DRL 5G. is building a new sport that depends on using innovative technology to create an audience experience Clever. like no one has ever seen So before. they're gonna link the two together so As we that... look at use cases for 5G, drones have to be one of the most compelling and entertaining. By so high bandwidth, low latency. With the leading 5G network in the country, it's a sport that has fans around the globe. It speaks to a generation that is interested it's in technology, excited about the it's future, growing. and thrilled by high-speed racing sports. So, so what he says there, I completely agree with him. It, it is a sport that's obsessed with innovation, and the people within FPV uh, have most likely built their own quads, or they get into the stage where they are building their own quads. So all these people know what they're doing uh so they know what they want and they want to innovate and they want to be part of this movement so for them and it'd be interesting to know who reached out to who here but for the drone racing league and essentially representing the fpv world linking up with a big 5g network provider like t-mobile um who knows where this could go partnership with t-mobile is allowing us to dramatically improve the fan experience we get to take our sport, which lives and breathes yeah, by high-speed radio communication, and pair it up with the leading innovator to, in that space. It needs space. to be better. And the result is DRL That's is the perfect cool. case study for using this with our high-speed drones and our incredibly demanding need for high-speed video in our sport. In the past, the analog video that's come through is not very it's clear garbage. and not very clean. It's garbage. With T-Mobile 5G wireless technology, we get a crystal clear image and it shows Whoa. the world in a completely different way. Whoa, 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 whoa. The difference there is stock. Stock, stock, stock. Different. Well, I mean, I guess it's the same as digital versus analog, but to think that... I know what they're going to say now. They're going to say that they're able to broadcast that. So the difference, right, is analog is low... I guess it's it's low bandwidth, so it's not a very big file that you, can, that you need to transfer over, but it looks crap. This is going to be a high quality file like the digital it looks better than digital to be honest transfer that over and stream it live that's that's incredible can we finish mounting all the stuff that is also on top of this i just uh, want this one. Oh, sick. Yeah. wow look so up sure look up big what we're that drone is our first 5g racing drone looks like a seven inch and for drone. the first time ever we're going to be able to stream immersive HD it's got content a SIM for fans card. in real time on America's fastest, most reliable 5G network. That's all former 5G. This is, these things are so amazing. This is very good. I know, it's amazing how good they are. Adjo is putting together the drone. I'm waiting for him to finish so I can start soldering the parts and running the cable. That's a, so that's a big quad. So are we all quad. like aligned then? I think like so. Yeah. I think we'll One of your... So let's just talk about that awkward teams meetings or zoom or whatever they're using over here um the guy in the top left looks like ben affleck loki uh <laughs> awkward teams meetings we love the objectives it objectives of this project is to make sure that we maximize the race fun engineering experience. and that is yeah. possible because this drone will be controlled over 5g i wonder how this drone flies and video, so thanks to the t-mobile 5g bulky. technology what it means for the fans is that we'll be able to see HD video quality in the stream, the same as the pilots can see. Oh, oh, oh. 
So the bottom that says drone cameras broadcast in HD over the T-Mobile 5G network, streaming video on T-Mobile customers' devices, typically available. Okay, so you, so you can get it at 480p unless you add an HD plan or feature. This is all just marketing. Get this see this thing fly. Okay. Yeah, let's so see it fly, brother. Universe. We're doing something that's never been done before. The performance requirements that we have in this drone are so extremely high that we can only do it with the support of the T-Mobile engineering team and really with the advancement of 5G tech and what it can bring to the drone. So we're really excited about the fact that we can utilize the 5G technology to do exactly what we want to do with this project. Locked. Interesting. Move around. I wonder what camera this is. Show some love to that drone. It actually looks pretty good. The last two days, the goal has been to get both the drone and the networking equipment both on at the same time while the drone is flying. Yep. Arm test. First 5G flight. What we want to be able to Why do with the prototype portrait? is to not only show that we can transmit video from the office to a local device, we want to take it out into the field to show we can transmit video across state lines. That's we want to be cool. able to transmit that video signal from He's the park that we're testing on to a new location to showcase the full capabilities of the drone and video in a real-world 5G environment. We're getting great video. It's pretty the cool. Streaming wow. looks amazing. A lot of detail, a lot of color. Looks really smooth, so really happy for how the things are going now. You see it, right? It's pretty cool. You see it, guys? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, it's beautiful. It. Wow. <laughs> uh, wow. Wow. Thank you, sir. Beautiful. Okay. Now that the field test has proven to be a success, it's time to build a fleet of these drones and take them to the DRL wow. races and T-Mobile events. That was crazy. And really show the world what this drone can do. What we've seen so far is purely a prototype drone. What we need to do next is to turn this into a fully finished racing drone with a sleek yeah. next-gen tech design that really... Right, let's do a quick deep dive here. Uh, what do we think? In the comments, you guys let me know. What do you think of this? I think they're calling it the Magenta 5G drone. So drop a comment down below. Not many lights is what I'm seeing. It's all covered, but I wonder if that's like a... I don't know if that's aerodynamics that they've chosen to do that or protection or both maybe maybe it's both who knows the color i guess it's 5g i mean t-mobile's color so whatever looks pretty cool they've got two cameras so one must be the feed and the other one must be what the pot the, the what, what's this big gap over here i see this this big gap so that must be the pilot's camera, the FPV camera. And then this one is what the camera that's capturing the stream, but it's, it's at a different angle. So it's gonna be looking at the ground. Really represents the momentous no. partnership between T-Mobile 5G and the drone racing league. The future of drone racing is really exciting. As interest continues to build Looks around like the world, it. you're gonna see DRL bringing- Let's- <laughs> How's this guy flying? As interest yeah. continues to build around the world, you can see. My guy is holding it like pencils. I've never seen that. Who is this? Dun. Okay, maybe that's the DRL bringing Duncan races guy. around the globe. Tens of thousands of spectators in the audience broadcast to dozens of countries around the world, rivaling the largest race circuits that exist today. The world's fastest cool. drones and the nation's leading 5G network. Now that's a fantastic combination. This is just the beginning, and I can't wait to see this 5G drone take flight in 2021 and beyond. Right, I guess a couple thoughts from me. I think that this is really good for the drone world. I think big companies like T-Mobile, who are enormous, using 5G technology in the drone world is only better for me and you you know who knows maybe soon you know in a not so distant future we'll be just on a 5g network flying our drones as opposed to you know between our controller and the drone if you know what i mean maybe our drones have sim cards that does the big big question that you know you're always being watched and always being tracked and all that sort of stuff so i'd be interested to know what you guys think 
in the comments down below. Um, what do you think about you know this sort of new tech and what does it mean for the sport? I'd love to know your thoughts. Anyways, guys, that's another video from me. Uh, if you're new around here, uh, my name is Michael. Uh, I'm new to FPV. Uh, you know, the last year and I've kind of documented my whole process. So um, feel free to subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in another video. Bye-bye.